Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Son of Mogaf. It's Wednesday, which means species. Yeah, I went ahead and downloaded the experimental update version of this, and now we can fiddle with the oxygen and the gravity. Continuing on from my uh, Evolve or Die series, I, I was going to create a world and import the creatures from the last world into it and just start the video there. However, there's a lot more in this um, patch that I was aware of. Look, if I go click world, look how much better the world looks in the map. I, I like this. And there's a lot more customization as well. Like, okay, I'm going to reduce this. Uh, re reduce this. Reduce this. Oh, my, I, I, I couldn't type for a second then. I don't know what that was all about. But then I'll murder them and I'll import our creatures from the last world and stuff. But look all this in the map. Look, there's a lot going on here, isn't there? What I want to do is maybe, ooh, that's actually not a bad map. You can like adjust the height of the water. Like, and you can see exactly how it works. I think I'll put it like, that i'm going to be fiddling with the gravity in this um in this video so i i'm going to make things a little bit flatter just to give him a helping hand i i not really sure that didn't seem to make much difference did it oh that did damn let me see if i can Yeah, that's not awesome, is it? There's like this huge pool of water. Let me do this a couple of times. That one's not bad, I guess. Again, there's a little bit too much water. Again, that one's not bad. There are large flat areas. There's a nice pool of water there. You've got these tools as well. Like if I, uh, I can flatten the terrain and I can change the brush sizes... I can like do this, like that. I it it's it's interesting, definitely interesting. You you've got so much con more control now over the map and what you do with it. I want to turn the nursery off. That's a good feature. Uh, what else have we got here? I want to put the fertility up. They've got lots of food. I feel like they're going to need it. I don't like this map. Let me... Again, that one's not bad. Maybe if I put the water down a little bit? Alright, I, I, can, I can live with this, I think. It's a bit slopey here. I don't want it completely flat, is the thing. That's pretty good. There's a wide open space here with lots of water in the middle. I kind of like this. How does it look if I put it... If I put the water up. I, I kind of like it like... This. I like this. Fertility... You can make it like completely infertile or you can make it very fertile. It's awesome this is. We've got all these advanced settings. I'm going to do what I did in every other map and put so have these start at 1. They will change naturally as things go by. I set the creature cap at 3000. It was 2000 last time. So I'm not horribly sure how better or worse that's going to work. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to generate the map and then import the creatures from the last world into this one and then I'll bring you guys back. I'll see you in a sec. Yeah, so here we are. Uh, I've imported all the creatures into this world. There were more than this in the old in the old world, the old island or the whatever you want to call it, the environment. Uh, I think there were like 14, if I remember correctly. However, 
A lot of them only had one or two creatures, so I exported all of the ones with a population of more than 10. And when I've imported them into this world, I wanted to give them all like an even keel, an equal opportunity for survival. So there's 250 of each. Here, look, look at them. Eww, you're all monsters. Bye. Uh, let's have a look. Go to the clade diagram. These are the ones that I murdered. So we've got this guy with the gigantic ball feet. We've got most laid back dude. We've got the weird giraffe creature. We've got this guy who, I mean, it looks like a graphical glitch. It's not. It's just the way that its arms are folded. We've got him, who apparently skipped arm day, but not leg day. And we've got this guy. I think this is the one with, that we've been following. What I'm going to do is follow almost the same rules as I did last time. Wait until they hit the creature cap, and then I'm going to increase the gravity. What I can do is I can go to the world options, I can go gravity, and I'm just going to slam a zero on the end of it. I'm not going to do it now, but... And each time, I'm just going to increase the gravity by a factor of 10 and see how well they survive. So let's see what happens. If they don't hit the creature cap within a reasonable amount of time, I will wait 25 generations. There goes the music. God damn it. Yeah, I'll wait 25 generations and then increase it. So let's go ahead and speed things up. I'm interested to see if these guys die out immediately. Okay, a lot of them are in fact dying. We're down to four already. From six, so several species have already become extinct. Here comes the breeding. Not fantastic. Oh, that, there we go. Oh my God. Right, now they're doing a lot of breeding. Holy freaking hell. That Right, they've hit the cap. They've spread out. Yeah, look, they're all, they're all round here already. Damn! Look at them munch up all the food. Holy hell! They're not. Yeah, there we go. Right, we're at the creature cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go oink, adjust, and see if that you know kills them. I'm going to wait for a little while to see if this this goes down due to the increased gravity. I mean, it's it's the gravity is increased by a factor of 10. You'd think that would have quite a significantly negative impact on them. Not really, to be fair. I like this new world generation. I like these ridges. It looks like a real landmass. I, uh, I'm impressed with the work the dev of the dev has done on this because I think it is literally one dev works on this entire game, which is impressive when you consider the complexity of a game like this. My God, these species have permeated the whole map now. Look, they're over here. There's tons of them here. I put them roughly in the middle of the map. I think I put them like here. Right, I, 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 I'm just going to put the gravity up a little bit more. Uh, world options and gravity, 100. I'm not sure how high this will let me set this, by the way. Affects how aggressively weight physics are applied to creature body plans and how much it costs to climb steep slopes. One of the reasons why I made it flat. Flatter. It's not completely flat. You can see there are hills and whatnot, but... I need to speed it up. Alright, it's dropping off quite, quite a lot. Let's just give them some time. Oh my god, oh my god, they're dying in huge numbers. This is why the series is called Evolve or Die. 
You need to have a breeding season, guys. Oh god, did I, did I did I increase this too much? They are literally becoming extinct in vast numbers. Although they have had a breeding season. Will they hit the creature cap though? That is, the, in fact, the question. Will it go all the way back up? It doesn't look like it. Although, they are still breeding. Damn. Oh, guys, you can do it. Yeah, they are. They're going to hit the creature cat. I'm kind of... Oh, now, now they're all dying. I guess I'll just float around for a little while and... Um, to see how this goes because it's going down and then back up and then down and back up so they're not they are hitting the creature cat but they're not staying there this music is so loud can I change that in the options hang on a minute uh, oh there are no options from here all right I'll I'll just um, reduce it when I'm editing Come on, guys, you can do it. You can live. Oh, we lost a species. We're down to three then. It could not adapt, and therefore it could not survive. And by it, I mean the population of it. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention previously, there are seasons now, so we're currently in the hot season. It goes hot. I think it goes hot dry cold wet or something and it cycles between them i forgot to show that in the um in my intro i'm so excited to play this i really am yeah the population is hovering just below the creature cap i feel like i should have said it at 2000 like i did before because my frame rate is not awesome <laughs> it's really very not awesome <laughs> That is interesting. So I don't know whether to increase it or not, or wait. Oh, look at them die. Look at them die in vast amounts. What I'll do then is I'll do what I've been doing in the other series. And I'll let them evolve for 25 generations or so. Let me have a look. Who's on the lowest? 16. What is this? That's a foot, apparently. Let's have a look. 11, 21, somehow. Mm. Where's the guy that we've been following? The oh, was he one of the ones that died off? All right, we're following this guy from now on then. So I'm going to wait until this gets up to... I think he died. I, th I think he died. There's, there's only two species now. Oh, God. Oh, what is happening? We've literally just got two species now. There's over 2,000 of these. I guess we'll be following this guy. He's already at Generation 25. Wow, they, they, it's like quickly become the dominant species. Oh god, it's chugging pretty hard at the moment. Let's have a look. Who? That's 14. How many of, right, I'm going to wait until this guy gets up to 25 generations and then I'll bring you guys back and we'll, um, we'll see how things have changed. Okay, I guess it's time to bring you guys back. We actually didn't reach 25 generations. We've, we're just camped at the creature cap. We've got 13 species now. Yowch! That's all oh, 14. And my game is chugging hard. Like, so badly. I really shouldn't have raised that creature cat. 
Let's have a look in the clade diagram and find out what we've got here. Look at all this. Look at all this going on stuff. Uh, oh, no, no. I zoomed out when I should have zoomed in. We've got this guy. All right. They're starting to develop like proper legs now. Look at this guy. Look. Damn, that's some leg muscle. He's lost his head almost entirely, but... All right, um... Hmm... Yeah, it, it, again, this guy's got, like, proper legs, but his arms have become folded into his body. Because apparently that's a thing that happens when you increase gravity by a magnitude of 10. We've got this guy. I think this is the guy related to the one that we were following. The one that I was following died. Oh my god, look at him! Look at his legs, look! That's amazing! There's our giraffe-type creature, now with even huger legs. I wonder if it takes more energy for him to keep his head up there. <laughs> Who knows? Oh my god, look at the skin colour on that one. He's trying to camouflage against this, like, barren floor. We've got some truly bizarre creatures evolving. They're all developing super massive leg mass. I like it. Super massive leg mass. I'm just going to put it up some more. They're up to a thousand times normal gravity. <laughs> Let's see what that does. Hopefully it kills a bunch of them off and stops my game from destroying itself from within. I mean... Look at my frame rate up here, look. It's not not great. Oh, God! It went from 3,000 to 500. Look at all this. Extinct, 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 extinct. Mutated, speciated, extinct, extinct. Oh, my God, did I kill them all already? Are they going to recover from this? It's the wet season. Oh, oh, God. Oh, Oh, oh no. Oh, uh, am I a monster? Am I the worst person? I tortured these things into oblivion. There's still five species, there's just not many of each. Breed! Breed and live! I don't want to end this video, like, immediately. Although I do kind of want to see what effect the, um, the oxygen has. I'm not sure if you can adjust it from here. You can't. If I go into the world options, look. Water oxygen and airborne oxygen. I, I don't know whether I should do a video where I put these up or down. So maybe comments in the comment section. When I do my oxygen related video, do, I, do you want to see what happens when the oxygen goes up or when the oxygen goes down? And by how much should I put it up and down each time? Keeping in mind, of course, huge amounts will probably just result in an extinction. Like I think this has. Although, there is a little bit of breeding going on. I'm just waiting to, for it to go, everyone's dead. This message to come up here, everyone's dead. Oh my god, they are actually... Surviving. We're down to one creature. Let's find out which one it is. Oh. It, um, it, it's this thing. I, I kind of want to find it in the world. Hang on. Where? Uh, I, I, I can't see them. If they become tiny, is that what it is? I think they have, in fact, just become tiny. It's hard to get a good sense of scale. Oh my god, yeah, they have! Look, hang on. Look how small they are now! Look, this is a patch of grass that was here, look. That's amazing. They've become ant creatures. <laughs> Look at you! I want to look at the stats for them now. 
ultra smooth skin, still herbivores, lukewarm, uh, amphibious, that's nice. Energy capacity is mayfly. I don't really know what they mean by that. They're very slow, <laughs> considering the gravity is what a thousand times higher than it used to be. Although they're still not awful at swimming. They're a bit rapidly exhausted in water, though. <laughs> uh, they're mostly harmless when it comes to attack, and they're very primitive at growth cost. The glutton is narcoleptic and aggressive. Lost the temperature ignore ignores temperature trait, but that's amazing. They've become so small. They're teeny tiny little itty bitty monsters that I have kind of tortured for their entire existence. Are they going to live? They might actually live. Can you hear the shock and joy in my in my mouth? That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say, can you hear the shock and joy in my voice? Oh God. It's like the motto of this channel is I do words good. I, 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 I might just make a banner for my channel that says I do words good because I don't and it, it's funny we've now got five species and the population is rising oh my god this is this is so awesome this creature is entirely legs it's a cucumber with legs Right, at least this one's got arms. I mean, that's a minor, major species as well. What? That's a minor species. What is it doing with its arms? Is it walking on its arms? I, I want to find this creature now. Is it also teeny tiny? I, I need to slow it down so I can actually see it move. Oh, God. Yeah, look. It's also really fast. Oh, it's also dead. <laughs> Why? Is it, this, everything is so small. Oh, that one just had a bunch of children and ran away. Like, I've got it on normal speed, and look how fast they move. It's hard to keep up with them. That one's gasping for air for some reason. Oh, and that's dead. <laughs> this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. I'm having a blast with this already. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh, God. I keep clicking, and it makes them go away. And I've said this so many times in my videos. I need to not do that, and I still do it. Yeah. They've... Uh, all right. No, I'm just going to pretend that one doesn't exist. They've just become... Creatures with gigantic arms and legs for some reason. Their heads have almost disappeared for the most part. I am so happy. I am so happy. I'm actually a little bit giddy right now. Can you tell? He's at 98 generations. And there isn't many of them. I'll um, do another time skip here, I think. When this guy gets up to 125 generations, I'll uh, bring you guys back and we'll mess with the gravity more and maybe kill them more. I don't know. I thought they were going to die off just then, to be perfectly honest, but apparently not. Let's give them time to evolve and... Um... Now that guy died. Now I'm going to have to find another one, aren't I? Oh, God. No, no let me slow this. Wait. Uh, one away. I'm just. I, I want to pick the lowest one, kind of right now. Okay, this guy. I'll. I'll keep an eye on the this guy. When he gets up to 125 generations, I'll let you know. Okay, guys, welcome back. It's um been a little bit of a strange time for me over the over the last few minutes. Uh, look at look at how tiny this guy is. He is so teeny tiny little itty bitty monster. Look at this. Sorry, I got kind of carried away there. The population's over a thousand again. It's almost at half the cap now that I look at it. And we've got 15 species. 
I, just just look at all this. Just 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 look look at all the this that's going on. Look, we've got these guys who actually starting to look like something that might live. You know, that might be a real thing. I, I love the way that all getting these like bubbly, blobular, giant, weird, crazy legs going on to try and combat the gravity. I'm kind of interested in putting our micro-humans in a world and increasing the gravity, see what happens to them. I might do a video on that once I'm done with these. Oh my god. I'm sorry, what have I done to you? I, I, I mean, look. I, 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 I didn't expect many of them to survive. And they're actually not only surviving, they're... They're breeding. They're doing so well. I'd be proud of them if they weren't all utterly hideous beasts. It's it's him. I like him. He's so cute and he's so teeny and he's so tiny and I'm just about to murder his entire species. Ha 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 ha! But you can you have to zoom the camera in so close now to see things. Oh, that one just had children and he looks very surprised about it. Everything is bent over backwards. Everything has gigantic legs and feet, and it's so weird. Also, I might have to save this. It did recently auto-save, so I'm not going to bother, actually. I'm just going to put the... Um, that's the wrong button, son of Mogaf. I'm just going to put the gravity up. 10,000 times normal gravity. Boom! <laughs> It's the dry season. I'm not sure if that makes much of a difference to their survival. Let's go ahead and speed that up. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no. Quick, have children. Breed. Survive. Live. Live. There's one. What? Wait, no, wait. Put... Oh, they all deaded. They... All deaded. They they couldn't survive ten thousand times normal gravity. What a freaking shock! What an absolute shocker that is. Let me. Hmm. I've been recording forty five minutes. Let me uh, let me go back to the auto save. Where is the auto save? There you are. Look, it was right when I brought you guys back, just before I um, just before I increased the gravity. Let me do it again. Uh, world options. Oh, it's at ten thousand times gravity. I guess it saved right before I pressed the forward button. Let me see if I can do something else to give them more survival. You see these? I'm just, I'll put these back up. I'm gonna, I wouldn't normally do this. I would let it do its own thing. I'm just gonna see if giving them more food will give them more energy and therefore more breeding ability, survivability. Let's see. Everybody has more food. Eat it and live. I, I, this is not going well at all, is it? Really, look at this. Oh, no. I'm going to have to get ready to pause it. Although, wait. All right. So setting the food. Oh, wait. Yeah, so increasing the food supply actually did save them. Oh god, now look at it. Oh oh god, it's it's gonna it's gonna die. It's gonna I'm at four frames a second. What has happened? Um Did it crash? No, it hasn't crashed, it's just gone into slideshow mode. Um they actually, they actually hit the creature cat. I, I can't pause it. I can't move the camera. 
I'm just going to have to wait for it to catch up. Oh, I can sort of move the camera. I may have broken the game entirely at this point. If I can get it to pause, the frame rate should recover. Oh no. Oh, what, what have I done? I'm at two frames a second at the moment, according to my um, sources. It's not awesome. It's really not particularly fantastic. I'm trying to pause it and it just won't. Hang on. Let me just see if I can get the game to recover. I, I, I cannot get it to do anything. It, it's it the the creatures hit the creature cap so quickly that it's I think it's just right. It, I think that's the tilde button, isn't it? Not. It, it just won't let me. It won't let me do it. Okay, let me give get, let me give myself a couple of minutes to see if I can recover this situation I found myself in. And um oh wait. Oh, I think I did. I managed to get it to pause. Oh god. So we've only got one creature, but there's all of them. This goddamn thing. All right, so I'm just going to continue for a little while. I've been recording nearly an hour, but I think I can kill this thing. I'm just going to put the gravity up again. Maybe increasing the food wasn't such a great idea, but... Pfft. I mean, you've got to give them something, haven't you? Dare I speed it up? What I'll do is I'll, I'll let this fall down. If it goes below 2,000, I think I can speed things up to maintain the frame rate, because that was an absolute freaking nightmare. Holy hell. I'm shocked it didn't just crash to the desktop. All right, it's going. Right, I'll speed things up. Oh, we're back into slideshow mode. All right, I I'll put it into to normal. Normal speed. Where are even these? Are these guys? I can't find any of them. Okay, again, it's because they're freaking tight. Are they all glued into one spot? What is going on over here? Are they just eating each other? I guess they can't move far enough to get to food, so they're just dying and eating each other in perpetuity. Well, although they are herbivores, they're squid like. That's new. They're terrestrial. They're entirely land-based. I think that means. Effectively seasoil? What the hell does that word even mean? Holy hell. Rapidly exhausted. Dangerous when cornered. Oh, they've become brave. So that's nice for them. See if they continue to die off. It's, it's so funny. The gravity is so high now, they actually just can't move. There's 600 creatures in this one spot. And they're all just dying and eating and dying. And To be fair, I think they're just dying. Let me have a look at that. Oh, let me have... No, no. I actually... There's so much meat piled up there as well that I actually can't select any of them. Yeah, this is going, I mean, I mean, how long can they survive doing this? Look at this. Oh, my God. I did it again. I clicked the thing that I didn't mean to. And then I did it again. Holy hell, son of Mogev. Look at how gigantic this thing's legs are. Oh, 
holy hell this is going to be a fun creature to import into a into a world with normal gravity i have no idea how well it's going to do but or badly it's going to do i don't know i honestly don't know i'm just waiting to see if this goes extinct i mean it's, it's gonna right it, it's going to they it it's, just look at them all. They're all just sleeping in a big pile together in a desperate attempt to not die. Down to the 60s, 50s. There's like a countdown. Five, four, f four, <laughs> four. C counting with Son of Moga. Three. Two. Oh, come on. Come on, Bree. Just, I don't think they can get any food, so they can't get enough energy to breed, so they can't continue to live. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, although there are two species now that I've just noticed. There was only one previously, was there not? So there is some amount of breeding going on. It's just completely ineffective. We're down to five. It went up. It went up to seven. Are they going to recover? There's one of them, and it's a bloody mutant, because of course it is. The music. I need to learn to turn the bloody music off. I actually like the music in this game. It's just... It, it comes in really suddenly. <laughs> and when I'm talking. Alright, four, two... Right, I, I think we can call it there, can't we? Let's have a look. This is our survival die winner so far. Look at his legs. Oh my god. Let me export that guy before I... Oh. Wait. Oh, I can't select him. There we go. I'm going to export him. <laughs> These are all the ones I imported from the other world. So this is a gravity monster. Oh, I forgot. What? My, my typing skill's not great. Oh. Oh, so, um... If I quit to the main menu, is the music going to stop? I fear not. No, it's not. Okay, I'll just turn it down even further. Okay, so that was the the, the gravity manipulation um, edition of of lost words. I've just this is just absurd. Yeah, this was another episode of Species Artificial Life Relevolution in my Survive or Die series. Throw your comments down in the comments section and let me know if you want me to increase or decrease the oxygen in this next week's episode. Uh, this was just, it's so bizarre. My brain has fried itself. I'm just in a daze right now, giddy with joy. So <laughs> I'm going to get off and get this rendered and uploaded and all that good stuff for you fine, fine people. Um... Yeah, um, don't forget to like and subscribe, I nearly forgot. Oh my god. What is what has my life turned into? What what is happening? Yeah, like and subscribe for my content. It's weird and I'm often bad at things. You know, I'm good at murdering creatures to be perfectly honest, or that it makes me sound like a psychopath. I'm alright because probably I'm a psychopath at this point. You saw what I just did to these poor creatures. I mean, how could you deny it? So, um, what day is it today? It's Wednesday today. I said that at the beginning of the video. It's Wednesday, which means it's Thursday tomorrow. Don't know if I'm going to do a video tomorrow. I'll probably see you on Friday for more Raft. So, um, thanks everyone for joining me. Thanks for all your help and support. You're all awesome, lovely people. Welcome to all the new people. Um, 
Again, comments in the comments section. I'm, I'm gonna go lay down or something. I'm kind of dizzy right now.